Welcome to the Entrepreneurial Success Video Training. I am Tassos Georges and I'm your host. And inside this training, you're going to learn how to develop yourself into a fully acquired, powerful, skillful, innovative, resourceful, productive, unstoppable and successful entrepreneur. A creator of amazing products and services that the market really wants. Someone people trust and follow. And a builder of profitable businesses. This is the first module entitled Entrepreneurial Mindset and Principles. So let's dive right in. Module number one, Entrepreneurial Mindset and Principles. Episode number one, Introduction. Today we will be discussing what an entrepreneur really is, why would you want to become one, and their role in the economy and the world. Now, before we get started, it's important to know who I am. You may ask me, why would I want to learn from you, Tassos? What is your background? Well, my entrepreneurial journey started out when I was a young boy. I remember my parents fighting day and night to grow their clothing business. From a small knitting workshop, to a mini plant, to a big factory, employing over 50 people. We were producing women clothes and selling them abroad. I remember discussing businesses with my father, as he was driving in between the radio news and the commercials. He was explaining everything and I was eager to learn more and more. So I kept on asking questions. That's what kids are great for, anyway. And uh, the very young age, I had the chance to visit factories, production lines, managers, directors, and employees. I also remember myself helping my parents uh, and uh, managing our factory's warehouse with my uncle. I remember stories of my father and how he got started when he was only 10 years old, uh, where he was forced to bring in money for his poor family, uh, selling stuff in the flea markets, like socks, uh, t-shirts, this kind of stuff. And I remember my father's brothers, who had their own small businesses. Uh, I remember my grandfather father of my father, who was, who was a toy store owner in a small village. And I remember photographs of my other grandfather, father of my mother, who was a coal trader downtown. I remember an uncle who was manufacturing sports clothes and uniforms. I remember friends and partners of my parents who had their own businesses. And the list goes on. This was my circle, my environment as a kid. When I was in the university and in my free time, I was traveling around the country selling our clothes door to door to stores as we were expanding in the local market. Uh, eventually, this factory was closed in late 90s and I continued this business at the basement of my house with the help of my mother, my fiancé and a couple of employees. Uh, in 2003, me and my sister built a hotel in Halkidiki. Between 2004 and 2014, I opened, operated and sold various businesses such as clothing stores, restaurants and cafes. In December 2014, I expanded online and I fell in love with marketing. Since then, I've helped hundreds of brands sell more of their products and services as a marketing publisher. In 2019, I started providing marketing services and training workshops locally and to businesses across the globe. I also have a bachelor degree in business administration and this is when I first came across marketing as a science. So what is an entrepreneur? An entrepreneur builds, manages and runs businesses. They create products and services to meet customer needs. They are innovators. They introduce new methods, ideas, new products, new services. They always strive for a change. They are creators. They create new things. They create opportunities for others and for themselves. They create success for others and for themselves. They are also risk takers. They are willing to spend money 
time and they even risk their own reputation just to build something the world wants. They provide value in the marketplace. So what is value? Different people value different things and entrepreneur is interested in learning what other people value, their desires, their frustrations, their needs and wants and he creates products and services to satisfy those needs. Entrepreneurs discover and capitalize on opportunities. They don't w wait for things to happen. They make things happen. They constantly trying to improve and scale. They want to improve in every area of their business, whether it is production, sales, marketing, customer service, everything. They are productive. They work all the time. They don't sleep a lot. I mean, they sleep less than other people. Now, that does not mean you should only sleep uh, three hours. But definitely you should, you should not sleep nine hours. If you, if you are committed to your mission, if you are committed to creating something amazing that the world remembers, I believe sleep is the last thing you should ever think about. And here is something very important. Entrepreneurs are action takers. They take action immediately. They don't wait for tomorrow, for next month, for a good day. They, they go for it. They take the risk. And this is absolutely critical. If you want to become a successful entrepreneur, you need to take action on what you learn. And here is a favorite quote. Information without implementation is just procrastination. Keep in mind that. Also, entrepreneurs jump from idea to idea until they hit uh, gold. They are focused on results and they always get results. They don't have the mindset of an employee who is trading time for money. They care about results. They don't just adapt to the environment. They create the environment. They constantly experiment with new ideas, new products, new services, new solutions to problems. And they know that most of their ideas won't work. And this is true for everything in life. Not every idea we have is working. They solve problems instead of creating them, instead of whining for something. They provide solutions. They keep learning new things. They're educating themselves. They read a lot. They network with others. They know the power of community. They know that if they want to scale their business, they need connections, relationships with other entrepreneurs or businesses or people. They improvise to make things better, to make things happen. Entrepreneurs serve values with the world. They don't just care about money. They are also good listeners. They are interested in solving their problems. They are patient and they are consistent on taking action. They are givers. They donate. They help unprivileged people. This is what makes them happy. To see other people succeed and happy. They don't value things only with money. They have a very strong imagination. They believe in something before they see it. They are leaders. They are followed by other people. They are also targets of haters. And this is inevitable. When an entrepreneur becomes successful, there will always be someone who hates them. And this is a good thing. We want the haters to talk about us. This is free advertising, as you'll discover later in this course. They are self-motivated and devoted to their mission. They don't expect others to push them forward. They push themselves forward. When you look at an entrepreneur as someone who has all these characteristics and traits that we just described, you shift your mindset from someone who is just a consumer to someone who is a creator, an innovator someone who provides value, someone that people follow, a leader, someone that is making the world a better place. So why would you want to become an entrepreneur?
You will be creating amazing products and services that the market needs. You will be solving problems for other people. You will help them move forward in their lives. You will create success for you and for others. You will be discovering people's needs, their desires, their fears and frustrations. You will be creating job positions and wealth for other people. You will create opportunities and success for others, for your employees, for their families, for other people, for your customers, for other businesses. You will be followed by people as a leader. People are waiting to get saved by someone like you, by someone with uh, these characteristics. You are someone who brings value in people's lives and they turn to you for advice. I always wanted to become an entrepreneur since I was a kid. I wanted to become something different, someone who, someone who brings value and hope in people's lives. An economy without entrepreneurs is really miserable. It's an economy that is flat, without dimensions, without depth. Entrepreneurs create new things and innovate. They invent, they experiment, and this creates progress. Progress is also created by competition, because entrepreneurs want to outrank their competition, so they become better, they improve themselves, and this creates progress for, for them and for others that surround them. They provide a lot more value than they consume, and oftentimes they are willing to work without asking anything in return. They create knowledge and wisdom. They are prime movers and a stoppable force. Nothing can stop them. They want to create something remarkable, something people will enjoy. But when they take risks, they take calculated risks. We discussed that entrepreneurs jump from idea to idea until they hit a golden opportunity. But they, but they are selective. They don't just uh, follow every idea that comes in their way. Entrepreneurs care about their personal development. They don't just care about profits and money. This is what an entrepreneur really is. This is, the, this is their role in the economy, a special role of a leader, of an innovator. In the next episode, we'll be discussing what to do during an economic crisis, how to discover opportunities, and how to network. Until the next episode, take care.